Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. My name is Andrew and today guys we are going to be reviewing a truly iconic brand. This is a brand that you've probably all heard of before. They've been around for a long time. You can find their products on Amazon. You can find them on their own website and you can find them in several retail outlets like Walmart and Target in the United States and Europe. So guys this is truly a global brand. A brand like I said you've probably heard of before. This is a brand that is one with nature and not only do they provide beer care products but they provide a full line of family care products. This company takes pride in their pioneer ancestry and a lot of their recipes have been inspired by those pioneer roots that they have. So guys, what do you say? We meet them right now. Alright guys, so you guessed it. Today we will be talking about the Mountaineer brand. The Mountaineer brand is located in Martinsburg, West Virginia. They were started in 2013 by a brother and sister team by the names of Eric Young and his sister Meredith. Eric is the brains behind all of the products and the scents and the formulations, while his sister Meredith is the chief operating officer and she is in charge of the day-to-day -day business operations to make sure that the company is running smoothly. Um, this company started as a beard care company, but they quickly evolved into providing both shaving products and family care products, a full line. Um, the family care line of products was inspired by their great grandmother, Granny Vickers. Now, Granny Vickers was a pioneer woman who lived off the land and used all natural balms, salves, and rubs to take care of her family. I think that, guys, is really cool. Um, the company is committed to providing only 100% all natural products, and this is due in part to a tragedy that happened to Eric and his sister. Um, Eric's mother and wife both died of cancer at early ages, so Eric was determined to ensure that any products that his company made would do you no harm and actually be helpful and beneficial to you. So I think, guys, that is really something special. Um, the brand took off and today you can find his products not only on Amazon and on his website, but you can find his products in retail outlets throughout the United States and Europe. And guys, that is really a true success story. So guys, one other thing I wanted to mention to you is that um, the Mountaineer brand company has given me a discount code for you guys called Blazing Beards. So if you use the code Blazing Beards, you will get a 20% discount on any products that you will purchase from the Mountaineer brand. Um, I also wanted to mention that the Mountaineer brand is going to provide me a small commission for any time that you use that Blazing Beards discount code. And you know, I at first I objected to that. Um, I said I, I did not want to do that. My viewers might think that you know that would influence my uh, review of their products, and I guarantee you it won't in any way influence my review or my opinions. And in fact, what I plan to do is I plan on donating any proceeds that come from your purchases. Any of the commission that I get will be donated to charity. So guys, if you do buy from the Mountaineer brand, not only will you be getting really good products, um, but you will also be doing good for others. So I think that is a really cool thing. So guys, anyway, what do you say we move on to the unboxing and start checking out the great products sent to me by the Mountaineer brand. Okay guys, so are you ready to see all the products that were sent to me by the Mountaineer brand company? Well guys, um, they sent me a lot of products. In fact, the first item that I took out of the box um, is not even here. It was a baby care kit and it included a diaper bomb, a slumber time bomb, and a vapor rub. And uh, those items I gave to my niece who currently has a newborn child. So she's going to be get back to me and I will get back to the Mountaineer company with how she enjoyed those products. But anyway guys, Typically what I would do at this point is I would be unboxing, opening up the box, taking out the items one at a time, but there were just too many items and the box was just too big. It would have been really unwieldy to uh, try to do that on camera. Let me show you the box though. I mean the box, it was a big box. 
and uh, you know everything was you know packaged inside, but you don't quite get the dramatic effect without the you know taking the items out one at a time. So how about this? It was stuffed with all this stuff, and it was really really cool. So anyway, guys, like I said, it was like Christmas in May. But anyway, let me show you guys the products that were inside the box besides for the baby care kit, which I'll put on the screen right here. And the, one of the first items, guys, that I took out was a two ounce tin of therapeutic mineral clay. Now this is a powder so I can't take it out um, and it also came with an apple cider rinse and what this is for it is for um, it's a face mask basically to clar you know to clarify your skin to make your skin you know softer remove impurities etc and uh, here's a picture of my daughter and myself using this product and we had a good time and um, you know, I can't really say whether it worked well or not but we had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, my daughter seemed to enjoy it so thumbs up for me on the therapeutic mineral clay. Um, we also received a Granny Vickers foot rub also a two ounce tin and it came with this stone pumice so I didn't really know what this was for my daughter told me it's to you know rub on your calluses on your feet and stuff and smooth them out uh, you know it's a beauty product um, and the foot rub guys Mountaineer brand you have created two monsters in my two daughters because after we use this and here's a picture of us using it after we use this now my daughters all the time are saying dad how about a foot rub dad how about a foot rub so guys you created a monster Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, we had fun using this product as well. And not only that, it smells really good. It's a nice peppermint smell. Also in the package, I received a natural deodorant. And the natural deodorant was, you know, pretty cool. It worked pretty well. Um, you have to hold it against your armpit for a while to melt it and, because it's really, really hard. But, uh, you know, it did its job. And it smells very nice. This is the lime and sage scent of the um, deodorant. It's a very strong lime, lime type scent. I also received a all over wash. All over wash, and this is an eight ounce bottle, and this can be used on your hair, your beard, or your body. So I thought that was really cool. I used it, and I'll tell you about that when we get to the actual product review. So that was kind of the non beard specific products, and then I received some beard specific products. Um, one of the first things I pulled out was this really cool burlap bag. Uh, it is a beard kit that was sent to me by the Mountaineer brand and this is available on their website. And I will get into the details of how these products perform in a couple minutes, but let me show you what was inside the burlap bag. So once I got the burlap bag open, inside the bag was a four ounce bottle of beard wash a two ounce tin of their West Virginia timber bomb and they call this their magic bomb that's their regular bomb a two ounce bottle of matching beard oil and a really nice boar's hair bristle brush. So I thought this was really cool. It's a nice size brush. Uh, it has very firm bristles, so it'll definitely, you know, take care of getting your hair moving in the right direction. Also inside the package was another two ounce bottle of beard oil. This one is in the lime and sage scent. And then I received two more beard bombs. One of the beard bombs was a match to that beard bomb. It is the West Virginia Timber in a two ounce tin. And then I received one, I'm sorry, that was this one. And then this one is the um, West Virginia Pine Tar. So the Pine Tar is a different scent and I'll talk about that in a little bit. And guys, this other one that I took out is actually a heavy duty bomb. So it's still in the West Virginia Timber scent, but this one is a heavy duty bomb compared to their standard, you know, magic bomb. So I will get into all that in the next section of this video. Um, so I received in total three scents, the Pine Tar, the West Virginia Timber, and the Lime and Sage. But the Mountaineer brand has five cents in total, so I'm going to share those with you now. So you can look at the scent profiles and determine which ones you think might be best for you. So here it is.
Okay, gentlemen, so now that we're zoomed in nice and close, let's take a detailed look at the products that were sent to me by the Mountaineer brand. And guys, let's start with the non-beard products first. So over here on my left, guys, the first product I'll tell you about is the foot rub. So the foot rub, guys, it looks just like a beard balm. It is a yellow, off-yellow type color. It uh, comes out just like a beard balm. It's a little softer than your typical beard balm. Um, and this one smells really good. It's a nice pepperminty smell. Um, when we used this on our feet, you know, our feet felt nice and soft, and it was really a pleasant experience rubbing your feet with a balm. So I thought it was very, very nice. My daughters really enjoyed it, and it did make our feet feel a little softer and smoother. Um, it also came with this pumice, which I did not use. My daughters did use it. They said it's a, it's a decent pumice, um, you know, and I guess it's for rubbing off calluses and things like that. I don't really have any basis to compare it to, but it looks like a good pumice to me. The next item, guys, was the therapeutic mineral clay. And this therapeutic mineral clay came with this little container of Mountaineer apple cider vinegar rinse. So I guess the, the way that we use this, we followed the directions. It came with a little card with the directions. And this is a powder. Let me show you what it looks like. So um, I'm going to try not to make a mess and get it all over the place. So um, I pull this off. And Mountaineer um, bombs and um, you know these different containers they have, they are the pull-off types, not the screw-offs. So I'm hoping that you can see this. I don't want to dump it out. But what it is, is it is a pure powder. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it is made out of 100% pure bentonite clay. That's what the website says. So what you do with this stuff is you mix it with equal parts of the apple cider vinegar and the, and the um, powder, and it turns into like almost a concrete. It looks like a concrete, maybe not quite that thick of a consistency, and then you rub it all over your face until you, know, you can't basically see any skin. You let it dry for a little while, and then you wash it off. When you're finished washing it off, you use the apple cider vinegar again as a toner. So what this supposedly does is it opens up your pores, it pulls out the impurities, that's with the clay, and then you use the apple cider toner to basically close up and seal the deal. So overall, guys, I don't really have a baseline for comparison, but we sure did have a good time uh, using it, and my daughter said, you know, it worked. It worked as it was supposed to work. So I was, uh, I was pleased with that, and again, we had a good time. Um, so guys, let's move on to the next item that could be, you know, a non-beard product or a beard product. Now this happens to be the beard wash, but they, we also have the all-over body wash. And um, they are the exact same, guys. They have the exact same ingredients in the exact same uh, order on the list of ingredients. So um, I used them both, and I can confirm it is the same product, just has different labels. One is called an all-over wash and one is called a beard wash. So um, let me read to you the ingredients that are in both the all over wash and the beard wash. And it says on the website it is made on a base of pure Castile soap. So for those of you that don't know, Castile soap is a 100% natural, all natural product. So good thing. So the ingredients in this are saponified oils of coconut, olive, jojoba, sunflower seed, guar gum, vegetable glycerin, aloe leaf juice, rosemary leaf extract, parquet shea butter, citric acid, cedarwood oil, fir needle oil, and eucalyptus leaf oil. So guys, what I can say about this wash is it is a, uh, I'm not going to pour any out, but it is a rather I don't want to say a super thin wash, but it's on the thinner side. So it's a medium thin. It spreads through your beard really, really easily. It performed outstanding. I mean, this stuff lathered. It made so much lather. It was incredible. I really, really enjoyed it, and it lathered up quick. Uh, it rinsed out very, very clean, and my beard definitely felt clean, like it had removed all of the buildup of, you know, waxes and bombs and oils that I put in there, you know, throughout the week. It was a really good performing wash. Um, the scent of it, again, is the West Virginia Timber, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Next up, guys, let's talk about the beard oils. So the first beard oil that I'll talk about is the 
West Virginia Timber. So, um, you know, it comes in this two ounce blue bottle with the restrictor top. And um, guys, let me read you the ingredients in the beard oil. So the ingredients in the beard oil, if I can get my glasses out, the ingredients in the beard oil are grapeseed oil, almond oil, castor seed oil. So that's all of the uh, carrier oils that are in here. And then the essential oils are cedarwood oil, fir needle oil, and eucalyptus leaf oil. So, um, you know, very um, good oils, you know, they're, they're good quality. They'll make your beard feel really good. Um, let me show you the color and the consistency of this beard oil. So I'll put some in my hand. Again, it's a restrictor top, so it's nice and easy, a little tap, and it comes right out. And you can put it down without worrying about knocking it over because it won't spill, so I like that. Here's the run test. So I would say, guys, that this is a straight-up medium thickness oil. Uh, you know, it feels nice and silky as you warm it up in your hands. And when I put it in my beard, guys, the scent that comes off of this, to me, is very pleasant. And, you know, I'm typically not someone who likes a pine oil, but I'll tell you, it is, uh, it's starting to grow on me the more and more I, you know, use things that have a slight pine scent to it, like this one does. It is not a strong pine scent. What I would describe this oil as is more of a lumberyard type scent. So it smells more like the sawdust that you would smell if you were in a lumber yard and they were cutting up some cedar boards. Um, that's what it smells like to me. And it has that nice uh, offset, I guess, of that eucalyptus, that nice freshness to it. So overall, guys, I do like the scent of the West Virginia timber. It's not my favorite scent of all times, but it is a very nice scent. So if you like woodsy, you're going to really like this West Virginia timber. Let's move on, guys, to the next beard oil. This is lime and sage. So I'm not going to put this in my beard, obviously, because I just put in the uh, West Virginia timber, but I can tell you what it smells like. So to me, guys, the lime and sage, um, it doesn't really smell like lime to me. I mean, I get a little bit of lime smell, but to me what this smells like, it is a, I would say, a spicy, citrusy type smell, um, almost like a light version of a citronella. You know, the citronella is that uh, stuff that you use to keep, you know, bugs away and that type of thing. And it's a pleasant enough scent. Now, typically, you know, citrus scents are not my favorite, but, um, you know, this one is light um, and it's refreshing and it's, it's okay for me. It's not my favorite, but uh, if you like, like, a spice citrus scent, you'll probably really enjoy this one. Guys, let's move on to the beard bombs. So the first beard bomb I'm going to start with today, guys, is going to be the West Virginia Timber, and this one, guys, is the Heavy Duty Beard Balm. So um, the Heavy Duty Beard Balm, they have two types of beard balms at Mountaineer. They have their Magic Formula, which is their regular beard balm, and then they have a Heavy Duty Beard Balm. And for my gray, surly beard, the Heavy Duty Beard Balm uh, worked fantastic. So guys, let me show you the color and the consistency of the Heavy Duty Beard Balm. So the color it is an off-white or a light yellow type color. And it is a creamy beard balm, but it is also a pretty thick and heavy beard balm. So when I scrape that out, you know, it looks like it looks like that. And to emulsify it, you know, it emulsifies pretty well. If you put too much on your hands, what I noticed though is I had a real hard time the first time I used this, and I think I used too much and it just did not emulsify all the way down. It was very, very waxy feeling, but uh, you know, if you use the right amount of this, it has a fantastic control. Um, it controlled my beard outstanding. Um, I'll tell you something, guys. If I want a you know, beard balm that is going to style my beard and hold it in place, and I don't have to worry about it you know, blowing out of place, etc., this is the beard balm that I'm going to use because I really, really thought this beard balm, the heavy duty Mountaineer brand beard balm, was the star of the show of all of the products that I received from the Mountaineer beard brand. It was really, really nice. 
It has that nice, you know, West Virginia timber scent, which I enjoy. And it held my beard in place outstanding. And it made it easy to style. So I really, really enjoyed this. And, you know, once it's set and dried and I combed it through and everything, my beard was super soft and it felt super well conditioned. So big thumbs up to the heavy duty beard, beard balm. Let's talk about the regular Magic Beard Balm. And I'll show you the color and the consistency of this one. So this one is more of a yellowish versus the other one was a little bit more of an off-white. Um, this Beard Balm, it is a very soft Beard Balm. To me, it seems like it's almost more of a Beard Butter. And show you it emulsifies. So it emulsifies instantly. I'm not going to put this one in my beard because I just put the other one in. But this one is a little different. This one is the pine tar scent. So, you know, I heard pine tar. I'm like, what is pine tar? I have no idea what pine tar would smell like. So this is, of all of the scents I got, I would say that pine tar is my favorite scent from the Mountaineer brand. Now let me read you the ingredients in the Beard Balm, which also lists the you know, essential oils that it is scented with. So the ingredients in the Pine Tar Beard Balm are grapeseed oil, almond oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, coconut oil, tosopherol or vitamin E oil, orange oil, grapefruit peel oil, and then uh, clove flower oil. So to me, guys, this one was outstanding. I really, really like the scent of this. It is very much a, to me, it's more of a spiced citrus type scent, but you do get that little underlying hint of like a piney type scent to it, but it is very, very pleasant. I really, really enjoyed this West Virginia pine tar. So guys, that is all of the products that I received from the Mountaineer brand beard company. The products performed extremely well. I really enjoyed them. My family really enjoyed them. My beard and skin felt great. And I have no problem, guys, recommending any of the products here from the Mountaineer brand beard company to you. So guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. All right, guys, so now that I shared with you my thoughts on all of the products that were sent to me by the Mountaineer brand, I bet you're wondering how much do these products cost. So, guys, I'm going to tell you that. But first, guys, I want to make a correction to my prior product review section that I filmed in this video. There was an error in it. Um, the error was not my fault, but uh, I want to share it with you anyway. The Pine Tar, West Virginia Pine Tar Balm and the scent that I described to you. You can see this label says pine tar on it, but on the back of this label it says citrus and spice. So apparently there was a mix-up in the packaging facility at the Mountaineer brand company, and what I reviewed for you was actually the citrus and spice. So I really, really enjoyed this scent. I guess I still don't know what the pine tar scent is, but it does say on their website that it was not developed for the scent but it was developed for the properties that the pine tar provides, which is an antimicrobial, and it is supposedly also very good for healing conditions on your skin, like rashes, etc. So anyway, guys, what I reviewed for you was the citrus and spice, and it was very pleasant. Anyway, let's move on to the pricing. So guys, for a two ounce bottle of beard oil, or a two ounce tin of beard balm, they both go for $12.50 a piece. Or you can get the combo pack of the beard oil and beard balm together for $22 to save you a little money. Um, the beard wash and also the all over wash, which are basically the same product with different labels, um, they sell for a four ounce bottle sells for $10 and an eight ounce bottle sells for $12. So a really good deal on the eight ounce bottle of beard wash for 12 bucks. Moving on to the beard care kit that I received and guys that was the two ounce beard oil, the two ounce beard balm, a four ounce beard wash 
and the Boar Bristle Brush. That sells on their website for $28.50, so also a pretty sweet deal. Um, the Granny Vickers feet, or pretty feet they call this kit, with the pumice and the foot balm, that sells for $12, so pretty good deal on that as well. The Therapeutic Mineral Clay also sells for $12. Now I believe you actually get not this 2 ounce tin that I got, but it looks like on their website it's a 4 ounce tin. It doesn't say, but it shows a big jar for $12. What you don't get with it is the apple cider vinegar, which you have to buy separately. And I don't recall right off the top of my head what that price of the apple cider vinegar is, but it was on the, um, or it will be on a chart that I'll show you in a minute for the product and pricing. Um, so guys, those are the products that I received from the Mountaineer brand beard company. Um, the deodorant, oh, I forgot that, the deodorant sells for $9.75 and also the baby care kit that I received sells for $25. And again, that's three different bombs. It's the diaper bomb, it's the slumber time bomb, and it is the vapor rub. So $25 for that. So overall, pretty good pricing at the Mountaineer brand. I would put them definitely at the lower end of market average. You know, guys, you're talking about, you know, $6.25 an ounce for their beard oils and their beard balms. So that is definitely a fantastic price. And when you add into that the, you know, the savings that you'll get by using code BLAZINGBEARDS, you know, you're going to get another 20% off of that. So it is fantastic. I also noticed that on their website, I believe it doesn't list specifically where the free shipping cutoff is, but I played around with it a little bit on their website, and I believe it's $35. So if you spend more than $35, you get free shipping. And even if you are paying for shipping, if you buy under $35, it was very reasonable. It did not look like they were charging you any more than their actual shipping cost. So overall, guys, great value for your money at the Mountaineer brand beard company. Now, the Mountaineer brand beard company sells several other products that um, I did not receive and did not review for you today, but I'm going to provide for you a chart that shows you all of the products and the respective pricing available on the Mountaineer Brands website. So guys, here it is. So guys, before I conclude this video, I always like to provide a few suggestions to the company that was generous enough to send products out to me for review. And for the Mountaineer brand company, I have four suggestions. The first suggestion, guys, I already hit on was there was obviously a mix-up at the packaging plant where my beard balm had a tin that had the pine tar label on the top and the citrus and spice on the back. And uh, I know you sent this out to me for free, so I'm appreciative of that. But I think if I was a customer and I ordered a product and got something different with different labels on it, I might be upset. So you may want to take a look at the uh, quality control in your packaging area. The second thing, guys, is I would love to see more scents available in your retail outlets. I've gone to several retail outlets looking at Mountaineer brand product and the only scent that I can find is the West Virginia Timber. So I think it would definitely benefit you if you put more of your scents out in your retail locations. It would get your scent profiles out and people would, you know, buy more of your products, I believe. The next thing, guys, is the beard oil and, or I'm sorry, the beard wash and the multi-wash. Um, they're both the same product. They um, perform, you know, exactly the same. And, you know, we've been told for many, many years that, uh, you know, the hair on your beard is different and requires a different type of wash um, than that you use on your head hair or on your body. If your beard wash or all over body wash, you know, is the same and it can be used on your beard and your hair and your body uh, all at the same time, then I think you should just have one label and call it one product. It is a little bit confusing for us beardsmen out there to 
think that we have to buy a beard wash and then see an all over body wash and it's the same thing. So anyway guys, the last item on my list is the beard oil multi-pack pricing on your website. Now currently if I buy three pack of beard oil, that costs me $24 or $8 a bottle. If I go and I buy the five pack of beard oil, that costs me $50 or $10 a bottle. So that doesn't seem right to me that if I buy more product, I have to pay actually, you know, more money per ounce than I do if I buy less product. So for right now, for example, if I bought two three packs, that would cost me $48 versus $50 for a five pack and I would get a full extra bottle of beard oil. So I think you may want to address that as well. Um, in conclusion guys, the Mountaineer brand has become one of the most successful and widely distributed brands for a reason. They have awesome products at really, really awesome prices. Now, both me and my family, we both, we all thoroughly enjoyed using the products sent to us by the Mountaineer brand and I highly recommend them to you. My hair, my beard, my skin, they all felt really good, they styled really well and you know, overall the products performed outstanding. Um, thank you Mountaineer brand for sending these products to me, I really appreciate it. And guys, you probably also want to go and check out their website. They have an awesome website. It's full of different blogs and how-tos and informative information on growing your beard and taking care of your skin and your hair and your body. So I think you should definitely go check it out. I will put a link to their website in the description to this video. And guys, don't forget to use the code BLAZINGBEARDS um, when you purchase product from the Mountaineer Beard Company. It will save you 20%. And it won't only be good for you because any profit that I get coming back to me from the Mountaineer brand will go directly to charity. So it will be good for you and you'll also be helping out someone less fortunate than yourself. So I think that is a really good thing. And guys, overall, I hope you found this video both informative and entertaining. If you did, please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I release new content. And guys, look in the corner of your screen down there. See the red box with the white arrow in it? I would really appreciate it if you would click that right now. That is the subscribe button. And that would really help me out a lot. And I would really appreciate it. So, guys, until next time, grow yourselves a blazing beard. See ya.